assalamu alaikum students we are going to study today the class reptilia external structure and locomotion first of all we're going to start from the skin of the reptiles the skin of the reptiles has no respiratory function skin of the reptiles is a respiratory function many of the reptiles cannot respire by their skin skin is thick dry and keratinized ye thick hoti hai dry hoti hai aur keratinized hoti hai to thick and dry means thick to aapko pata hai dry matlab dry hoti hai that is and uh, no secretions are present on their skin it means that in the body pe koi moisture nahi hota in the body ke glands nahi hote jo moisturize kare inko koi glands maujood na hone ki wajah se in skin jo hoti hai wo dry hoti hai a what is keratinized keratinization is a normal physiological process which turns the stratum corneum of the skin into hard protective cover means keratinization is a process that the skin ko ek hard protective cover mein change kar deta hai and the skin jo hoti hai wo as a hard protective cover yet for example if we are working with our own hands for month or um, one more days so we can see that our hands are much more harder than other person which is not working agar aap koi harsh kaam karein apne haathon se regular basis के ऊपर काफी दिनों के लिए काफी दिनों तक आप करते रहे तो आप देखेंगे कि आपके हाथ सख्त होते जा रहे हैं बनस्पत उस इंसान के जो काम नहीं कर 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 रहा ओके नेक्स्ट स्केल्स एंड स्क्रूज मे बी स्ट्रेंथन बाय द बॉडी बोन प्लेट्स यू कैन सी ओवर हियर दैट दीस आर द स्क्रूज स्क्रूज आर प्रेजेंट ओवर हियर ये स्क्रूट इज a bony external plate or the scale bony cells are overlaid with a horn on the shell of a turtle skin of a crocodilian or the feet of a bird so ye jo iske punje hain you can see the your size ke these are for the bony plates ki bani hui hai the bony plates external bony plates hain jis ke upar hote hain these are for Surely, for protection, these are very hard. Natural skin is much less glandular than that of amphibian. Amphibian ki nisbat inke glands kam miqdar mein paye jaate hain. Almost na hone ke baawur hote hain glands. Glands are almost absent from the skin on the reptiles. You can see this is these are the pictures of some uh, skin of the reptiles over here. These are the scales are present on the. Uh, skin. This is, I think, skin of the skin snake, and this is a crocodile, and this is some little lizard. You can see the scales are clearly uh, displayed over here. Okay. Next, uh, the reptiles periodically shed their outer epidermal layers of skin in a process called ecdysis. Reptiles. do exercises periodically after some time their external skin is being wrapped out you can see i have a video for you you can explain the exercises clearly you can see this is a snake this is a python snake and it's doing exercises over here so you can see uh, now you can see over the skin and it's the uh, Skin from the outer uh, from the body. ये अपने स्किन को उतारता है किसी किसी भी सरफेस के साथ रब करके ये ऊपर वाली स्किन जो होती है इसकी डेड होती है और ये इसको उतारता है बॉडी के लिए कुछ टाइम के बाद इसको उतारना पड़ता है इसके बाद से क्योंकि ऊपर से डेड हो चुकी होती है. So the question is that. Why there is ecdysis in some organism? I have another video for ecdysis in lizard too. You can see this is a leopard lizard, and it's removing its outer uh, skin, dead skin, over. Okay, and uh, it's uh, using its hands and mouth for removing this outer skin, and it's also an example of ecdysis. So why do they do ecdysis? Because uh, There is, you can see over here, 
because there is a, a blood vessel over here and this is the epidermis and uh, dermis and this is the epidermis the blood vessels are present in the dermal area but is not present in the epidermis the reason the problem is that when there is a blood flow the blood flow is only in this area this area blood flow is okay it keeps on leaving but when there is no blood flow and the epidermis is become dead because the epidermis area have no red blood supply that's why it's become dead and it's very necessary to remove the outer area the epidermis so the organism remove the epidermis the dead portion of the epidermis from its body or from its skin that is called ectasis ectasis is greater in juveniles than, than in the adults and what is the juvenile organism juvenile organism are the those organism which are immature which are sexually immature uh, which are not up to the uh, stage up to the size of an adult this is called also juvenile chote organism small ki jaate hain jo hum kehte hain ki abhi bali mein hue chote hain ye us size tak nahi pahunche jis size tak adult ko hona chahiye yani ki juvenile ka jata hai juvenile mein ye effect zyada hoti hai okay so uh, here i can i want to explain it again yahan pe jo na blood vessel pai jati hai jo dermis area mein pai jati hai and epidermis ke andar jo ki blood supply ya blood vessel mein hoti this ki se blood supply ya epidermis mein nahi pahunch sakti aur upar wala jo portion hai ye dead ho jata hai jis ki wajah se jo hum surprise hain ye upar wale portion ko body se utarte hain लाइटिंग सेल्स and the group of cells found a wide range of animals like amphibians and reptiles and other organisms also to you must have jandro me pay jata hai to mujhe koi bhi light reflecting hai aur pigment containing hai and pigment is those which have colors in our body hamari body mein jo colors hota hai organisms mein wo color pigments ki wajah se hota hai aur bhi pigments rakhne wale cells jo hain chromatophore hain aur ye light करते हैं डिफरेंट कलर की लाइट भी रिफ्लेक्ट करते हैं इट मीन आप जानवरों के अंदर जो मुख्य कलर की लाइट देखते हैं वो इन पिगमेंट सेल यानी कि क्रोमेटोफोर्स की वजह से होती है ओके सो व्हाई द क्रोमेटोफोर्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट व्हाई वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द क्रोमेटोफोर्स इन द स्किन बिकॉज़ इट इज आल्सो इन्वॉल्व्ड इन लोकोमोशन ओवर हियर यू कैन सी दैट क्वाइटिक कलरेशन mimicry and opposed matic coloration these are the three terminologies are uh, much more important so what is cryptic coloration cryptic coloration is defense that organism used to disguise their appearance ye aisa dikhai reaction hai jo organism apne aap ko chupane ke liye karta hai अब वो छुपाना सराउंडिंग इन्वायरमेंट में किसी वजह से भी हो सकता है मोस्टली प्रेडेटर की वजह से होता है जो शिकारी शिकार करने आता है उससे छुपने या बचने के लिए ये यूज करते हैं कलोरेशन सेकंड इज मिमिक्री मिमिक्री इज आल्सो डिफेंसिव मैकेनिज्म ये अपनी शक्ल में यानी कि अपने बॉडी के कलर में ऐसी चेंजेस लाते हैं जो किसी ऐसे जानदार की शक्ल नजर आए जो प्रेडेट जिसको प्रेडेटर ना खाना चाहता हो लुक लाइक दैट ऑर्गेनिज्म व्हिच प्रेडेटर इज ऑन लाइक किसी का भी खाना नहीं पसंद करती है उसकी शक्ल बनने से कोई कहते हैं ताकि शिकार इनको छोड़ दे तो ये मिमिक्री के लिए है अपोजमेटिक कलरेशन इज अ मार्किंग ऑफ एनिमल सर्विंग टू द वॉर्न ऑफ प्रेडेटर्स ये प्रेडेटर्स को वॉर्न करने के लिए होती है खबरदार करने के लिए होता है दिस इज लाइक कि उसको ये दिखाना कि भी अगर मुझे खाया या मुझे अटैक किया मारा 
तो उसको भी नुकसान होगा तो समथिंग लाइक दैट इज कॉल्ड अपोजमैटिक परवेशन ओके नाउ वी आर डिस्कसिंग सम कैलिटन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ क्लास एरिया we have inherited from ancient amphibians skeleton is inherited from ancient amphibians highly ossified ossified means bone bone depositions are for greater stores unke upar bone deposition hoti hai bones ke bune hue hote hain unke jo skeleton hota hai that's the reason skull has scaly palate unke jo skull hai uske andar scaly palate hota hai aur evolution kahan se hui hai archosaurus se we are going to see the skull in fact over here you can see there is a nasal passage and this is a mouth passage over here between the nasal and the mouth passage there is present a secondary palate palate secondary palate is dividing between is a division between the nasal passage and the mouth passage so this is the main function of the secondary palate secondary palate ka kaam bhi hota hai ki ye divide karta hai nasal passage ko aur mouth passage ko aur ye ab in mein paya jata hai intestine now we are going to forward to the long snout for developed olfactory epithelium olfactory epithelium ke liye in long snout hoti hai olfactory epithelium is a smell capability or the property of the organism smell jo inka hota hai inki efficiency hai sunne ki salahiyat zyada ho jati hai kyunki inki long snout hai and have long developed epithelium olfactory epithelium most cervical vertebrae along with atlas and axis so we are discuss this is anatomy of some uh bones over here you can see that uh, ye in ke they have um, lots of cervical vertebrae over here this is i think made of the snake so the cervical vertebrae and skeleton here are two bones with the atlas and axis you can see this is atlas and this is the axis and these are the other cervical vertebrae are over here and there is much more different in the shape of x atlas and axis in comparison to the other vertebrae present on the body the atlas and axis are much more important because they are responsible for the articulation of the neck region and the skull ye skull aur body ke dusre skeleton aur neck region ka aapas mein articulation karate hain atlas aur axis these are very much important these are also important in the movement of the skull the skull ke movement mein bhi bahut zyada aham kirdar ada karte hain okay you are going to the forward oh they have a single condyle skull single condyle skull means the skull have only only one area only one bone that have the ability to articulate with the neck region if there is one bone only we say this is single condyle skull we can say monocondyle also and we can say single condyle skull also so there is also a only little only single uh, articulation articulating bone this is called single condyle if there is two we can say di but the present single condyle skull by the here next we have kinetic skulls when we see about the kinetic skulls means the skull is very much kinetic you can see here here this is a quadrate bone this is very much important for the movement of the skull and uh, you can see jaws upper and lower jaws they have amazing mobility dono jaws mobile hain okay these jaws can open like this you can see that it is engulfing a complete frog in the mouth and this is very much amazing in ke jaws itne open ho sakte hain ki ye pura ka pura frog andar leke ja sakte hain some snakes to isse bhi zyada jaws ko open kar sakte hain so this is called the kinetic skull and this is every ability is present in the web types okay we are going to the next highly modified ribs for example snakes we can we are taking some 
uh, highly modified resort here. You can see that these are the snakes and kibibs of the Ixixan. These are many, many dips present over here. And these are much more efficient in movement and structure and locomotion and sport. And uh, all the uh, organs of the body of a snake is uh, being covered by these as you can see. And they are giving protection and support to all the organs of the body. And for the moment, the ribs over here, the whole body, the skin muscles, the skin muscles are attached with the ribs. Skin muscles attach the ribs for the movement of the body. Uh, body ki movement ke liye ye puri ki puri jo ribs hain, saari ki saari ribs jo hain, ye skin ke muscles ke saath attach hoti hain, aur inke attachment ki wajah se skin saam ka move karna asaan hota hai. Uske alawa ye protection de ki hain, puri ke jitne bhi organs hain, snake ke andar saare organs ko ye protection de rahi hai, aur saal zar support ke liye, movement ke liye bhi ye support deti hai, very good. Okay, now we are going to the skeleton and uh, we're going to the palliators, sacral vertebrae. Now, on sacral vertebrae, these vertebrae are present on the pelvic girdles. These are the girdles where these vertebrae are present. And these are very strong vertebrae. These are very much supporting in movement, forward, backward. And these are supporting the pelvic girdles very much. ये पैल्विक गिर्डल को बहुत ज़्यादा सपोर्ट करती हैं क्योंकि ये जो बोन्स होती हैं ये बहुत मजबूत होती हैं और मूवमेंट ये पैल्विक गिर्डल को बहुत ज़्यादा हेल्प करती हैं। तो दिस इज़ प्रेजेंट मोर सेक्रोवर्टिब्री मोर मीन निस्पतन दूसरे जंदन से बहुत ज़्यादा सेक्रोवर्टिब्री इंडिया में � Cardio vertebrae for autotomy. And what is autotomy? There is a vertical fracture plane. You can see over here. You can see over here the lizard has the ability to remove its tail from many parts. These are the vertical fracture plane. One, two, three, four. चार जगहों से तोड़ा हुआ है यहाँ पे ये तनाव में जो तेल है और ये वर्टिकल फ्रैक्चर प्लेन है इनके पास होते हैं जहाँ से ये तेल अपनी तोड़ सकते हैं और ये तेल उसको तोड़ते हैं जब इनको फील होता है कि इनके ऊपर अटैक हो रहा है और ये तेल तोड़ देते हैं जिससे तेल विगलिंग करती है और इनके विगलिंग की वजह से प्रेडेटर जो होता है वो कंफ्यूज हो जाता है कि ये शायद लिजर्ड है या फिर उनकी स्ट्रक हो जाती है तेल वट एवर तो किसी भी वजह से ये तो सबके जन्म खतरा महसूस होता है आई हैव वीडियो फॉर यू हियर ए ह्यूमन हैज कैप्चर्ड ए लीजर इन हिज हैंड एंड ही इज ही इज गैर ग्रैबिंग हिज तेल एंड ही टॉर्चिंग यू कैन सी दैट ही लेफ्ट द ह्यूमन हैंड बाय फ्रैक्चरिंग हिज ऑन तेल दिस इज Finally, it's called autotomy. Okay, now we're going to class the tail, the external structure and locomotion. And the primitive reptiles have flung body, stocky appendages, move in horizontal plane as slender. Okay, so you can see slender, slender has a very slangy body and stocky appendages. Stocky appendages, chote, look in the boot, nazar ane wale. और स्लंगी होते हैं कि स्लंगी बॉडी वो होती है विच इज नॉट इन फ्री कंट्रोल मतलब वो फ्री फील होती है पेंडेजिस के पूरे कंट्रोल में नहीं होती है वो हॉरिजेंटली ज्यादा लिफ्ट नहीं होती बॉडी ऊपर तो सीट पे चलते रहते हैं सम साइड अभी हम आपको वीडियो दिखाते हैं इसकी यू कैन सी ओवर हियर दिस इज ए स्लेंडर एंड स्मूथिंग लाइफ दिस and uh, it's a very strong appendages over here and it's when the body comes up like a primitive to the child to play to go is the rocky moment yes that's the body but now there is elongated limbs and cylinder body a body the other effective over here cylinder over here the other limb they are and the body get close you have will will have now it's camping is the close of the hand 
तक इसकी मूवमेंट में आसानी है देखो यहाँ पे यहाँ पे हम देख सकते हैं कि ये थोड़ा सा जो है ना ये दूर दूर इस तरह से फील होता है पाँव या हाथ इसके बॉडी से दूर है बट वैन वी टॉक अबाउट अब उनके नीज एंड एल्बो जो है सोचेट पोस्टरली उनके नीज जो अभी पोस्टरली हो जुड़े होते हैं ताकि उनके गीत को वर्टिकली उठाया जा सके स्पोर्ट किया जा सके वर्टिकली अपवर्ड उठाना वर्टिकली उठाने का मतलब ये है कि इसको वर्टिकली स्पोर्ट करने के लिए जमीन से उठा के इसको चला जा सके यहाँ पे मैं एक फिगर दिखाता हूँ आपको ये हमारे पास सॉरी ये हमारे पास है क्रोकोडाइल Crocodiles have, you can see that these is posteriorly moved. This is also posteriorly moved. Posteriorly मतलब अपने हाथों की जो angles हैं, उनके जो बाजू हैं या उनके जो टांगे, उनके angles अंदर की तरफ जहाँ पे movement हो रही है, उसकी तरफ अंदर की तरफ मोड़ा जाए आपको, ताकि जब में आपको easily lift कर सके. These are the retrieve which is present over in the nowadays. Thank you very much for your time. Take care. I love this. Okay, but sorry. Previous reptiles were bipedal, or some reptiles prehistoric as they be, and who bipedal they they can move on two feet. मतलब उनको आगे वाले हाथों को चलने के लिए स्वार नहीं करना था. वो सिर्फ दो हाथों को, दो पैरों से वो चलते थे जो पीछे वाले posterior limbs थे, जो hind limbs थे, उनके जरिए वो चलते थे. They are not moving with their forelimbs, and uh, their tail is out stretched to tail. Stretched to tail means उनकी tail फैली हुई थी, मजबूत थी, जो उनको चलने में stand होने में छोड़ देती. Take care.